Okay, good afternoon, YouTube. Today I'm going to talk about um, a couple different products that I use to allow me to be able to um, stream um, stream movies from my network attached storage drive to my TV downstairs or upstairs, or if one wanted to, on your iPad or tablet or cell phone. Now I'm using a couple different parts here, and this video is going to be a little bit, you know, kind of. Um, I guess a little bit boring, um, but it's going to give you a little bit of information on how you can do it if this is something you want to do. The nice thing about movies nowadays and music is that it's all digitized for the most part. You buy movies, you get the digital copies, and it's really nice to have your whole collection um, you know, tucked away, ready to go on a hard drive. There's a couple of things you need to do to protect yourself. Uh, once you start to accumulate a lot of movies and spend a lot of your hard-earned money accumulating these things... And, and taking your music, all the music and CDs you've had over the years, you want to make sure that if something happens, if you have a drive failure, you're not going to lose all your music. So for today's purposes, again, I'm not going to get into uh, how you set this stuff up. I'm just going to give you kind of a very quick, uh, like if you look at my watch videos, a lot of my other videos, I call them uh, uh, quick show and tells. And um, I'm just going to give you the information on some of the things you can get in order to do what I'm doing. Okay, so what I've done is uh, for a while now, took me a really long time. I've converted uh, a lot of my movies. I purchased movies and I've converted all my music to digital. Okay, all my CDs I can just leave tucked away now. And I want I had them all originally on my computer, but what I wanted to do was be able to watch my movies whenever I want to or listen to my music from either the downstairs TV or the upstairs TV in my bedroom rather than having to lug CDs around or or um, you know, and I originally kind of got into this with uh, Xbox, um, the Xbox, because the Xbox allows you to do something similar and stream movies from your computer or network attached drive. But I didn't want to constantly have to use the Xbox and turn it on. I wanted something that's going to be very quick, very sleek, and um, pretty much that would work a lot better than the Xbox. So what I originally did here, I'm, just gonna, I'm not going to get into the components here. You'll see a router on top. You'll see a computer. That computer has been converted to an, a Linux system called XBMC. It's free. And I'll, I'll put up another video on that one there at a different time. And I think I might even have a video up kind of showing you a little bit about that. Basically what that router does, I've had that, I have that router, um, 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 uh, what do you call it, uh, cracked basically. I'm not sure if I'm using the right term. Basically I, I removed the factory, um, lit, uh, excuse me, Linksys uh, firmware on it. And I added, um, I believe it's called DDWRT. It allows you to do a lot of really neat, neat stuff with the router as far as making a bridge, a repeater bridge. It really lets that router do a lot more. So in this case, I have Wi-Fi in the house. I didn't have any kind of... I like doing hard lines for anything that's going to run a lot of information, but I didn't have any hard line down here. I didn't want to run the wire. Um, so I made that a wireless bridge. So what I can do is basically with that computer, and this video is not about that computer, basically originally I got into it because I was like, well, let me try building a home PC, but let me use this old computer I'm not using. So I was able to move movies and music through the network from my desktop using FTP to that computer and watch it down here. But it's an older computer, the video card sucks in it, and I wasn't getting a really good picture. Now, the two devices I have here are the Chromecast and, of course, an Android cell phone. In order to show you what I'm going to do today, this will only work as far as i found right now with Android products. iOS doesn't have anything that allow you to do this. And basically all we're going to be doing is using the Chromecast, okay, right there, to stream movies or music whenever you want to to the downstairs system and TV or the bedroom system and TV um, just by the press of a button. Now, you'll want, you're going to ask, well, what, where's all the, the, uh, the media? Well... Let's go upstairs real quick, okay? We're going to leave this here. Got to run upstairs real quick. And I'm going to show you what I got here. Now, you can do this like using an Xbox from your computer, but I didn't want to have the computer on all the time, even though it is on all the time. And let's face it, there's not a lot of space on computers unless you upgrade the drives. So what I opted to do is I went with two Western Digital MyClouds, okay? Or uh, my, one's MyBook, one's uh, MyCloud. What these are is a network attached storage, okay? This one here is connected to the network. It's four terabytes. This one is my book connected to the cloud drive, which is four terabytes. So this drive, both these are networked. So I can get on my computer and I can access all files from here or I can access these files using the app on any of my devices. But So basically, 
I have four terabytes of storage and four terabytes of backup. So this is a mirror of this drive. So the event is, in the uh, event that something happens, I'm not going to lose all my all my music and movies and pictures and documents um, that I spent so much time converting. So naturally, that's the network, okay, or the network drives. We're going to go into my office. I'll basically show you what you can do. For those of you who don't know about a network drive, it allows you to basically have uh, data on the drive and access it just like it's your C drive. So in this case, mine is called the P drive. I access it on my desktop, and there it is. You can see movies. I click that. These are the movies that I've converted or purchased and have them on my on the network drive. And basically, when I click it, it's it's just like the drive was inside this computer. It's just as fast. You can stream right from that drive to this computer if you want to watch a movie here. But basically, I use this computer. As you can see, it's quite the setup. Five LCDs to basically load all the, the uh, data onto those drives. So again, we're not going to get into too much of these other components. What I'm going to do is show you how this works. Let me close up this closet here. So keep in mind, okay, all the media, all the data... The music and movies are upstairs on the network attached storage. And what I found is that when I bought those Western digital drives, I wanted to be able to stream those movies and data to the, like I said, downstairs TVs or upstairs TVs. And the only thing I was able to find, I thought that the, maybe the Western digital app would one day uh, be Chromecast compliant. It's not yet. And I think maybe someday it will. I think it would be very smart for them to do that. For whatever reason, it's not. So let's get to, to this here. The app that I use is called Bubble, okay? I think it's about five bucks. Bubble UPNP, Universal Plug and Play. So we click Bubble, okay? Now you can see the TV's on. That's the Chromecast screen. It just basically puts the time on there and uh, different pictures, okay? So what I do is we're going to go ahead and... Basically, now the only problem I've had with this thing, oops, okay, there we go. So what you're going to do first is when you set up Bubble, as long as your, your network uh, drives are um, set up properly, okay, and that's kind of a long process to get set up, and I'm not going to get into that. I'm just showing you what you can do, okay. Basically, once you set this up, your network drives are all set up. you got all your media on there. When you run this app, it will automatically find your devices. So you'll see local rendering, living room Chromecast, okay, bedroom Chromecast, okay. That's what I've labeled these when I set up the Chromecast. Again, another whole other video on how to set those up. But once it is set up, this is what you can do. So for today's purposes, I'm going to go ahead and select because I want to watch a movie downstairs. So I'm going to set living room Chromecast and you'll watch the TV. It's going to kick into bubble. What I've just done is told the Chromecast that I want to use bubble, okay. And now we're going to tell the Chromecast what to get. Okay, so we're going to go back down to the app. We're going to go ahead and go to see my cloud showing up. Detect that videos by folder, the name of my drive, and here you go. Here's my different folders on there. For today's purposes, we're going to hit movies. And being we're getting close to Halloween, let's go ahead and click 13 Ghosts. And what I've just done, you'll see it's loading. I've told the Chromecast where on the network to find that file. And now the Chromecast is connecting wirelessly to the router. You see it, it went pretty quick there. And there you go. 13 Ghosts is playing downstairs. Okay. Now I don't have the audio up, okay, but trust me, it does work. And, you know, um, it'll support. The only thing with the Chromecast is that your files have to be an MP4. I believe it'll support one other file, but I've converted everything. I've been doing this a while now, so I've converted everything to MP4. And um, there's lots of programs you can get to do that. It's not rocket science. You do have to have kind of a faster computer. I have a quad core, 8 gigs of RAM. But there you go. Here it is playing. And I can basically play any movie in my collection or music, uh, you know, at the drop of a dime. So why don't we go ahead and play a little music here. So let's say I'm, so you can see now playing. You see the picture there. Now, I myself haven't got all this figured out perfectly. Um, this particular one shows the uh, movie cover. Uh, other ones do not. It's probably basically uh, how I got the folder set up or how I have them labeled. But the full, it's not really too important to me to see that. I just basically want to be able to play it. So let's go back to library. And we're going to go back to... Oops, I hit the wrong button there playing a different movie. Sorry, it's kind of hard to 
do both. Okay, so let's go to music. So let's just focus in music. And we're going to go to, let's see, by folder. I find that the easiest way to access this stuff. And we're going to go to music. And there you go. Go ahead and pick a song. Let's go ahead and pick, uh, I don't know, a little audio slave. Why not? And here you go. There's there's the folders. Now I'm not going to hit play. I mean, it works. Um, whoops. So there you have it. Um, and you can uh, play, stop, advance, just like you would with a remote. You hit stop. It stops. Okay. And that's basically it. If I want to do the same thing upstairs, I can go upstairs and do the same thing on my bedroom TV. So that's really what that's pretty pretty much what my video is about right there. Um, I'm sorry I didn't get into exactly how I've set everything up and and all the uh, the step by steps. I can help you in any way I can. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I just wanted to show you what you can do with basically a Chromecast, an Android device with Bubble, and a network attached storage drive, which is not right here. It's upstairs, as you've seen. So there you go, pretty cool, the digital age. Um, if you do have any kind of questions, again, uh, I can try to answer them the best I can for you. Again, uh, you know, this stuff's kind of trial and error when you're setting it up. I know when I've had problems with things, I just Google it and I usually find the solution. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you uh, enjoyed. Take care.